So today I'm going to end up doing a royal purple. It's just going to be one variation of uh, the royal purple color. So you can end up modifying this. This is just going to be kind of like a uh, basic reference point, I believe you'd call it. So first thing I'm doing is I'm just taking eight ounces. This is just going to be a water-based formula. You could do this with the isopropyl alcohol as well, but I'm just choosing to do it with the water. Uh, the first thing I'm going to end up doing is adding 0.4 grams of the blue, which should be hopefully uh, about one eighth teaspoon. Okay, so I guess it would be more like a heaping one eighth teaspoon. So this is 0.41. That's good enough. 0.41 is pretty good. So I'm just going to add this to the hot tap water here. Next is going to be the red. The red is going to be a little bit more than the blue. So typically you want to end up doing 50% of 50% less of the blue than you do of the red for the, the color pur purple on this. So I'm going 0.8. Point eight grams, so there's point eight, point eight one of the red. Otherwise, it, it looks about to be like that that much there. I'm also using the keto wood dye kit today. It has five colors in it. Uh, that's why I'm making this color formula, and it is for this product, the keto keto dye. Uh, wood stain cast color on here. I'm gonna go about 1.3 of the brown. Now you could go a little bit more with this. It could end up, you know, it'll end up making it a little bit darker. Uh, some of that really can turn out. Anyways, this is the 1.13 grams of the brown. And I'm just going to mix these up for a little bit. I'm going to let these rest so that they can all fully dissolve and break down. I'm just going to do that for probably about, oh, I'd say, 10-15 uh, minutes or so. And uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so let's get this dyed up. Uh, this is just a plain maple. It's... It does look like it has a little bit of figuring in it, but I actually just got this board from uh, a local home improvement store. So um, I just sanded it out with 100 grit, then with a 150 grit, but I sanded it very well. Um, so we'll see how it ends up turning out. Um, I am wearing a glove uh, this time. I have an actual job interview tomorrow, so I don't want my fingers going... Uh, turning purple on me uh, for the interview so wish me luck on that you guys so I'm gonna go fairly heavy with this just to start out with coat on there so I'm gonna end up letting this uh, sit on here and soak in there for probably a couple of minutes at least I'm gonna try to do this quickly like I said I have a, a, an interview tomorrow so I'm trying to kill several birds with one stone um, actually I shouldn't even say that this really has nothing to do with that but I have prepared in advance for my interview I'm sure you guys really are not interested in hearing any of that stuff, but uh, so I just want to get this done quickly so I can hopefully get this up on YouTube. Somebody was asking for a royal purple color, and I was like, well, I know I have a purple on here, but I don't have necessarily a royal purple, so hopefully I can get that up there. And that way they can view it while I'm maybe even interviewing. 
So, okay. So I'm going to let this sit, and I will come back a couple minutes, and we'll wipe off the excess and take a look at it. All right, so I let this sit for probably about three, four, maybe even five minutes now. I'm just wiping off this this excess now. And look at that. Maybe I should wear two gloves. <laughs> oh well. Hopefully it comes off. I'll wash it very well. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, so. I have this off. Just afraid to touch this, <laughs> but anyways, so okay. Oops. okay, so anyways, here is the the first, I guess, application. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a second coat on this one. I might. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, let it dry, and then I'll seal it out, and then. Uh, We'll take a look and see what it looks like from there. Uh, it looks pretty good, so I don't think it's going to actually need a second coat, but you never know. Um, when it dries out, it may be a different story, but uh, I'm kind of liking this. So I'll be back in a little bit after this dries, and we'll take a look at it from there. All right, this is uh, dried out now. I actually ended up leaving this dry for, I'd say, almost an hour I had some things I had to end up doing, so I'm just wiping this down now with a paper towel just to smooth the dyes out. Oh, sorry. And then, uh, this actually is a little bit darker than I originally thought it was going to end up being. But, uh, so this is, I guess, just one variation of a purple royal purple that um, can end up getting um, again this formula is really just for the key to dyes the ratios will be I'm sure different for other dyes so I'm going to spray this up now I'm just going to be using a lacquer anyway so let's get this sprayed up Well, this one's got a little bit of figuring in it as well. I actually was trying to get a piece that didn't have figuring in it, um, just for purposes to show what it would look like without any figure on there. But, well, the dyes do a pretty good job of bringing out any figuring that's really in the, in the wood. So... Uh, so this is what we have with it wet. I'm gonna let this dry out a little bit and I'll probably you know finish this off and then I'll come back and we can see what the results are with that formula uh, for this royal purple. All right, thanks you guys. All right, so this is the finished result. I have three coats of lacquer on here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this quick. There's some neighbor kids out in the the yard in the back and stuff and they're making quite a bit of noise. Um, people mowing lawns and things like that but I just wanted to catch the sunlight so that way we can get a true representation of what this royal purple looks like at least my variation of what royal purple is so if somebody's looking for this color I hope that the color formula helps helps out and it's pretty simple to follow along uh, you can see it turns out pretty well this is just a actual regular piece of maple there is a little bit of figuring in here uh, but that's just what the dyes do they, they like to draw it all out of the figure and and such like that so anyways i hope that this ends up helping out and it's uh 
it's a good video for somebody and it helps out anyways thank you guys for watching and uh we'll see you for the next video